Well, I'm visiting with my buddy Ted Noose, uh, world champion cowboy, uh, 1985 PRCA uh, world champion bull rider. I made the NFR 14 times in a row. I think that's just all got to be a record book deal. But, you know, uh, I know a lot of people would be interested in maybe, uh, I'd like to hear what you think is maybe some of your best rides or toughest rides or uh, some of the things that are really like uh, when you think of bull riding that come up in your memory, like what would be your favorite ride that you ever made, one that maybe was the toughest or did the most for you? Well, uh, one year at Fort Worth, uh, I drew this bull, uh, Charlie Brown, of Neil Gaze in the huh. short go, and he was a big old black bramer that really bucked. Well, at the NFR, he was in the eliminator pen. <laughs> and so, I was that Neil Gaze bull for sure. So. And he wasn't the one that you just wanted to reach in there and pluck out of there, but I drew him. And, uh, you know, it's in the short go, and, and, and Charlie Brown, he, he had a really good day. He stepped out of there and turned back to the left, away from my hand. And uh, and I rode him, and I was like 88 points, and I won the short go. I wow. won second in average, but I, I won the wow. short go. And it was it's a bull ride that, you know, stands out in my mind because he really bucked. He's he was, tough. Yeah, he bucked. Eliminator bull. Yeah, and I, I was able to ride him. Well, I'll tell you what, that just shows your tenacity and your toughness. I think when people remember Ted Noose, that's what they remember is your toughness and your consistency was amazing 14 times in a row in a sport that's you know all about uh, injuries and staying positive and uh, like like as you travel what was always your favorite rodeo to go to I know there's a lot of good ones out there well beside the NFR I would yeah. have to say Calgary you know I really love, yeah. I love the stampede yeah. I had a lot of success in Canada you know I won the Olympics up there in 88 wow and that's and amazing I won the stampede in 92 and what's uh, really cool about the stampede about two weeks before that in Brandon, Manitoba, a bull jerked me down and knocked me out. And they got it, you know, it was on all the stations up there in Canada. Yeah. And then, you know. Yeah, highlight reel. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, two weeks later here, I, you know, was able to win the Calgary Stampede in wow. 50,000. See, that's what I mean, toughness right there. And, you know, I watch you pass into that along to your boys, watch you at your bull riding schools. You know, you, you talk about the positive thinking and the toughness, you know. I, I've watched you ride so many times. I remember one of my favorite deals was uh, uh, at Houston, and uh, George Strait was that song uh, Amarillo wow. by Morning, and uh, that was just number one hit. But and they used a lot of footage from the Houston rodeo. But you were the bull rider in that video. Yeah, that was a uh, that was pretty exciting. You know, uh, just that time. You know, George Strait. You know, being the great singer that he is, country star and. And then they was able to use some of the footage of me on a bull. Well, was, I remember that. You did a great job. I can still see it, man. That, that was pretty cool. Back then, you know, uh, uh, you know, all the bull riders, you wore your hair a little bit longer oh, back yeah. then. <laughs> I used to even get uh, myself and Bobby Del Vecchio, we would even get our hair, hair permed. So we had, we had curls. <laughs> I remember that right there. Everybody was styling. But old Del Vecchio, what a great bull rider he was. Oh, but, he was tough. You know, yeah, and tough, man. There was a lot of tough. You know, as you look back, and, you know, I always talk about, you know, toughness. Like when I'm just visiting with bulls with a bull riding, I always bring your name up. But, like, who who was, like, one of your mentors or favorites or a guy you thought was really tough uh, back in the day? Well, the two guys that, that I really role modeled was uh, Donnie Gay and Denny Flynn. Mm -hmm. you know, Donnie bet. was tough, and, mm -hmm. and Denny Flynn just made them bulls look so stinking easy. He Boy. just rode them easy. He wrote one all the big rodeos, won the NFR yeah. three times. You know, he did, and he set the world record on red lightning of Tommy Steiners. I remember that. Uh, he was 90, like 95 or 6. That, yeah. that was pretty amazing at the time. And, you know, Denny Flynn, just, you know, really great-looking guy and heck of a bull rider from Arkansas. And then, you know, you're talking about Donnie Gay. I mean, uh, won the world eight times, and, gosh, he was runner-up a time or two, and then, one year they changed it around where, it. where you you, you could nine. win it. Yeah, you could win it at the – and Butch Kirby won it that year very deservingly. But, uh, yeah, if they hadn't been really careful, Donnie might have run it 10 yeah. or 11 times. Yeah. But, you know, you knew Donnie was going to give it 100%. Every time. Every single time. And uh, uh, I rode at the same time Donnie did, yeah, and he was – 
man, he was just an amazing bull rider. But a lot of great guys, like you look at guys like John Quintana, and, oh, yeah. and uh, just tough and could ride those unrideable bulls. And there were so many great bull riders, you know, Bobby Steiner and just so much style and talking about Butch Kirby. Those were some of the first guys that oh, yeah. really using that free arm and going to the front end and, you know, really changing bull riding up a lot. It really did. There was, you know, uh, you got to you gotta really, you know, take your hat off to Gary LaFue because he has Man, I'm so telling many you. great yeah. bull riders figure yeah. things out. Yeah. And he's got a line of champions behind him a mile long. Man, I tell you what, his schools are still some of the most popular. And I know you've uh, uh, taught and uh, worked with uh, LaFue. And, and he's all about the positive thinking. Oh, I mean, that, he, he is the man on that and, and really put that mental aspect into it. You know, Mayhem, he preached that kind of yeah. stuff as well. And just so many great bull riders. But, you know, good. Bull riding is like horsemanship. It's a it's a way of life, and when you're out there really living it, and you're up at the t uh, highest level you can go, like you were, I mean, I tell you what, uh, it it kind of stays with you your whole life. Well, you know, I just I learned some things early on that, mm -hmm. that changed my life, and and I know how it works, and mm -hmm. I'm going to work the system the best I can, you know, with this attitude, and I'm going to teach it to these boys mm -hmm. because. I know where it's going to take them. It's going to take them exactly where they want to go. Yeah, that positive attitude, you bet. Well, I'll tell you what, Ted, it's always an honor and a privilege to get a chance to visit with you and, and uh, be your friend. And I'm always learning something from you all the time. And uh, uh, I guess I can't ever really look at you without thinking about what a great champion you were uh, out there in those rodeos. So you carry that demeanor with you all the time, and you're a great example for all the young people you meet. We appreciate you very much. Thank you, buddy. All right, we'll see you next time.